The test for relative afferent pupillary defect depends on the fact that in the dark both pupils are dilated. If you shine light on one eye only, both pupils will constrict by an amount commensurate with how well the optic nerve is functioning. So if you shine a light on the normal right eye, both pupils will constrict tightly. However, if you shine the light on a poorly functioning left optic nerve, both pupils will constrict by a smaller amount and therefore, relatively speaking, they will be seen to dilate when you shine a light from the right to the left eye. Let's see that in action now. You'll need a very dark room and a very bright light brought from directly in front of the patient. You firstly examine the direct response for three seconds on the right eye and then take the light away. Next, we examine the direct response of the left pupil for three seconds and then take the light away. Now we're going to look at the consensual response of the left eye whilst illuminating the right eye for three seconds and take the light away and similarly look at the consensual response of the right eye whilst illuminating the left. Now we're going to go on to the relative afferent pupillary defect test and we illuminate the right eye for three seconds and we go straight across the nose. We have one third of one second to get to the other eye before dilation starts taking place. Two, three, and across. Two, three, and across. Two, three. And then you need to record whether the pupils remain constricted or not.